Jeff Cabotay from Umpire Zone. I hope you're having a fabulous start to your high school baseball season and your officiating is perfect so far, right? Uh, a couple of games in at this point. I had my first game this past Thursday and I have a story I'd like to share with you first and then I want to go into what I'm discussing in the video today. So on Thursday, I had a varsity game and I was on the bases and we had an instance where a pitcher was using a hybrid stance. Now, unfortunately, to me at least, where I went wrong was that's not an area that I have been focusing on. Like at the time, I was really focusing on being in the right stance and making sure my timing was okay. And so I really wasn't kind of paying attention to the pitcher stance. You know, obviously it wind up and set and continuous motion and things like that. But the points of emphasis this year in the rule set is to make sure that student, that, that uh, players are not using the hybrid stance because if they are, they are performing an illegal pitch every single time. And what happened in the game was the third base coach made me aware that he was doing that by saying, hey, that's an illegal pitch, that's an illegal pitch, because when the bases were loaded, the pitcher re reserved, resorted to what he thought was a legal stance, his sort of hybrid wind-up stance. And then once the coach made me aware of that, uh, I said, oh, look at that. And then he popped, out, he popped out, there were two outs, the bases were loaded, and then sure enough, on the next one, I, I, I called him for a walk. My reasoning, of course, is it's varsity level, pitchers should know the rules, but where I went wrong, and my partner, you know, we both obviously agreed that we you know, drop the ball a little bit on this, and that's that he needs to, we, we need to be consistent, right? We need to be, we need to look for that and make sure that we're not letting any pitchers get away with that, because every time a pitcher is in this stance and throws a pitch, that is an illegal pitch on the high school rule set. So you, so it's important that you be consistent and make sure, of course, that I, throughout the rest of the season, I'm also being consistent in that as well. So let's go ahead and discuss this rule change. Uh, well, I shouldn't say rule change, rule emphasis, because this has been in the rules. Uh, the wording has been clarified to make sure that the hybrid stance is definitely illegal in high school baseball. So let's talk about the two stances. Wind up stance. The pitcher is allowed to have both his feet on the mound. He is allowed to have his pivot foot on the mound and his non-pivot foot off the mound. Okay? And that's another thing also, the first base coach uh, had let me know that, hey, you, the pitcher's got to have two feet on the mound when he, he's in the windup. And the answer is no, he does not have to have two feet on the mound when he's in the windup. He's got to have one foot on the mound, and that's his pivot foot. This non-pivot foot is restricted, however, and his non-pivot foot has to be behind the front line of the pitcher's plate extended. Okay? So his non-pivot foot can be here, it can be here, he can even have a heel on the line. This is okay. This is a why not? He can have it back here, right? He can't have it here. That's a hybrid stance. His front, his non pivot foot is in front of that line. That is an illegal pitch every single time in a front runner's arm base. It's a balk. So just be consistent with that, okay? At the same time, talk about the set real fast. The set position, the wording in the rule book clearly states that the pivot foot has to be parallel to the pitcher's plate, okay? It can't be this. This is not parallel. This is parallel. Right? His foot has got to be parallel to that pitcher's plate. It can be in front of, can be on. I don't see too many pitchers using that, but it's got to be in front and touching the pitcher's plate. His non-pivot foot has to be in front of the pitcher's plate extended, of course. That denotes that he's in the set. Now, the reason why the um, rules committee basically changed the wording to emphasize that hybrid stance is illegal here is because, again, the pitcher is restricted as to what he can do when he's in either of those positions. If he's in the windup, all he's allowed to do is throw a pitch or step off. Right? So if he is in here, and then he steps and throws to first base, that's a walk. Right? He can't do that. He's not allowed to do that from the wind-up position. If he's in the set position, he can throw to another base. Right? He can come set, come to a complete discernible stop, and he can jump, turn, gain ground to first, and throw the ball to first. That's, those are all okay. The reason that we are, you know, the rules committee was very adamant about making sure the hybrid stance is illegal is because how do you know what he's doing here? You don't know if he's set. You don't know if he's wind in the wind-up. So whatever motion he creates here, right? If you think he's in set, what is he supposed to do? He's supposed to bring his hands together, and he's supposed to throw a pitch, right? This is not a set position. So if he moves any motion here other than stepping off, it's an illegal pitch or a block, as, as the case may be. So just be consistent on that, okay? At the same time, make sure you know your rules and make sure you are enforcing them consistently. I know early in the season, especially with changes to rules or emphasis on rules, it can be different to do things, do things differently. Like I was working on my timing. I was working on making sure that I was not rushing my calls. I was making sure I was in the right positions. So my mind was not on pitcher stance, okay? But with, as the case with all rule emphases, 
it has to be something that's on your mind. So make sure you know your rules, make sure you're using those, those, those points of emphasis in your officiating. That way you can officiate a cleaner and consistent game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped clear up the pitching stance rules and regulations for NFHS rule set. If you did, please like this video. Please subscribe to Umpire Zone. And as always, make sure that you are officiating a great game. Have a nice day.